These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilization, to boldly go where no one has gone before. In the 60s, they said to nowhere, no man has gone before. But then by the time the next generation came, they were like to know one because they wanted to be, you know, gender inclusive. Also in the future, everybody's called Sir. If you believe everything you see on Star Trek, even the ladies, they call them Sir. They don't call them Madam or Ma'am or whatever. Apparently that's sexist. They don't use money in the future. Everyone has a job, but except for gold-plated latinum that you can gamble. So I didn't really understand in the final episode of Star Trek The Next Generation, the crew's all playing poker in an old 20th century cards, chips, no drinks. They're just sitting around this tiny table playing poker. Like, you guys are playing blackjack and you don't have money. I can't think of anything more boring than that. Anyway, how you guys doing? I'm doing great. Put out kind of a emotional prayer video just now. Um... I don't know if I want to talk about it. Probably not. What do I want to talk about? <laughs> I didn't get the job. I applied for a job a couple weeks ago. And when I wrote the letter, I said, two reasons I'm writing. Number one, I really need a job. Number two, I happen to be perfect for it. It was an outreach. What if, you know... <laughs> All these stupid grand funded things have weird jobs that I've, I've done these kind of jobs. Native American Outreach Coordinator, but Region 2 Arts Council, they give out grants to artists and they needed somebody who knew the Native American community and the arts and could bridge the gap and encourage and help facilitate giving out yet more free money to Indians. <laughs> and I was like, hey, I can do that. Plus, it was only half time. So I knew I could still do the show. And uh, it was enough money. Not, not enough to take seriously. But I would go, okay, good. I can stop worrying so much about rent every month. It'll cover rent. So, you know, I was going to make the most of it. I thought for sure I'd get it, I, you know. But when I didn't get it, I was actually relieved. <laughs> I was like, oh, good. Now I don't have to go take that job. I don't want a job. <laughs> you know. Too old to apologize for that crap. I don't want a boss. I don't want to have to be someplace. I don't want to go do something I don't want to do every day. I love doing this. Maybe someday enough people will find our little show and order, you know, Ojibwe language words and phrases for their school or order an English Ojibwe coloring book for their school. Or invite me to their school and pay me to tell stories, <laughs> sing songs, teach Ojibwe. But until that day, I'll just be here. All right. <laughs> You've been watching Quitting Weed, number 14. 
appreciate it. Miigwech ga bizendawieg. Thank you for listening. My name is Michael Lyons, and I will see you again. Gigawabamin. Minowa. Ojibwe language and, and culture. culture. I am Natasha. This is not a buju. Welcome back to the show. <laughs>